all right ladies and gentlemen i have decided we're finally going to return to remnant from the ashes to check out the dlc i've been playing a good amount of this uh with some friends offline uh we've been doing a, a lot of my one friend's story um right now or i don't know if it is still but it was free on the epic game store for a little bit um me and my other friend pat we played through it for a bit um but we finished it he picked it up good great three player game so decided to all play together um i did create a new character but i think i'm gonna go back to my original one um because his gear score is much higher it's about two times the amount and it looks like the play time for this character is 12 hours that's insane Wait, why is the playtime for this one 25 minutes? Uh, it's definitely not right. <laughs> I don't know what happened there, but okay. Uh, now, how exactly this works with the DLC and stuff, I'm not 100% sure. So I guess we'll just hit play game and see what happens. Um... I'm not even sure what I have on like the original character that I played with. So we'll see. I do have the frame rate at the top left. Um, for now, I'll leave it on just to see what we're getting. I was getting about like 90, 80, things like that last time, but that gets a little bit less here. Um, all right, so what exactly? I don't even know what equipment, what guns I have is all different compared to okay i see got a good amount of money too trait rank is up there which is nice elder knowledge is all the way up there we go now we're at like 70 frames i feel like i have more skills on my other character than in this one dude what about that spirit Okay, spirit is really low. Wow, I never realized how low it was for this character. Um, I don't know why it's the dropping. Odd. What now? Let's see if she has anything. Right. Let's have a look. Nah, okay. We'll probably upgrade to... some weapons here. Uh, let me check this here. What other gear do I have to? Oh, I don't even have the void uh, outfit on this character. <laughs> All I have is like hunter stuff and your basic armor. Interesting. Okay, I remember this. There's that mod damage. I think I'm going to swap to that. Uh, yeah. Found that yesterday. You get an additional 10 for 10% 10 for 10 uh, okay. Ah, that's why I, I was using the guardian axe. Okay. Uh, pistols here. Some machine gun. That's the hollow root. Deals too. Okay. Just check what other ones I have here. Explosive shy. Uh, deals that max two. Do these follow you or let me? See. I right, we're gonna have to wait. Charged upon death, the wheeler will be revived with 55 health. They will also take 10% less damage. Okay. I remember that. I have the storm. I was using that a little bit. Uh, banish. Sniper rifle. Do I have the hunter? Okay, I do have the hunter rifle. Cool, cool. All right. Uh, let's see what we have here. It's been a while. Whoa. 
Corrosive Strike. Crafting. Glowing Fragment. Armor. Okay. Uh, da -da. That's max level. How many of those healths do I have? Okay, I have 10. We're good. Certainly. So I could upgrade this thing. I probably should. Now we need iron for me to use it more. Uh, okay. We go to this stone. I'm probably going to re-roll. I... Uh, because I, I don't know the last thing I even did on this character. Okay, so that's Check what that this out. is. Check that out. Over there. Is it just? Can't even talk to this guy. You have a wait. You carry a piece. Of the root is. So Great forces. I can off to fair okay. at all is well, child. Let's see what we got here. I feel like there's a lot more like armor and, and stuff that I should get. Okay, so let me try using this. Yo, what's going on, Kura? How you doing? So these turrets just stay there, right? I think. That's what it seems like. What's my... Okay, that's ammo. I'm going to put the ammo box to number two. Blood wart to number one. Whoa, that resets all your orb. What? Orb of undoing res resets all trait points. I mean, I could. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Reset them all. All right, so we got 89 now. Uh, let's get this to five. Five. And then I want to get Elder Knowledge all the way up. High as I can. So that way we get a lot of XP. And we can continue to grow everything else. Spirit, I want to get that up to like 10. Teamwork, at least 6. Endurance, 5. Reload, let's do 3. Stamina regen. Status mod power regeneration regeneration mod power regeneration wounded revive speed fire rate speed and recoil let's get this to like 10 healing effectiveness four five two Fire rate. Do that five. We'll do ten health. Seven endurance.
15 spirit. Range damage reduction. Mental resistance, stamina regen, wounded health, fire rates, spread and recoil. Do 12, 5. Got two points left. Damage reduction. There it is. Okay, cool. Uh, still definitely going to need new stuff to <laughs> new equipment, but Hey, this is what we got for now. So it is what it is. It's all right. I was just a little noob back then. Um, so the turrets shoot at five rounds per second and deal 18 damage per hit. These do projectiles that deal 150 okay song of swords projects a 25 meter aura that moves with the caster all allies standing in the aura will have all their damage dealt increased by 20 percent that's pretty nice storm caller go star someone say upon impact health Spells aggro on enemies within 15 meters for 15 seconds does not affect powerful enemies. Okay. Generates a uh, 5 meter impenetrable energy field. Here standing inside it can shoot outward. Okay. Stormcaller. Wild shots. Okay, I'm gonna stick with these guys and then this weapon I'll keep for myself for now too. World settings. All right, let's see. Yo, what's going on, Blunder? How you doing? What up, what up? Reroll campaign. Looking for a specific goal. Oh, what does this exactly do? Okay. Also complete a certain quest. Adventure mode allows you to generate a shorter experience focused on a single world. Not reset story campaign progress. I think we're going to do a quick new adventure. And... Uh, I don't know. Something tells me I'm not ready for the new area yet, but maybe I am. <laughs> Let's do it. Adventure mode of earth on normal. Great adventure. Earth city. There it is. This game's too spoopy for me. No, nah, it's not. It's not scary at all, man. <laughs> I don't like scary games. And it is not, I guarantee. Okay, um, actually, let me see if there's any guides that I want to do here. Do weapons. I saw that there was one that was really good. Here it is. Radiant set. A small dungeon. Any Yaisha area, buy armor and boots from the merchant. Uh, what else is there? 
all right we'll check that out in a little bit uh, i'm just gonna run this for right right this second though see what we can find here it's a great this is a, a great co-op game loner if you're ever into one uh it was also free on epic for a little bit i don't know if it still is or not though galvanized iron nice Oh, wait, that's those little guys. <laughs> I thought it was the, uh... <laughs> thought it was the other one. The flying guys, but I guess not. I was wrong. Do that. My dude's despawn. He did. Which one's not mine? That one. Kill it. I don't know if that was worth using a blood worth. There's an ammo, ammo box right here. I could, I'm, I'm thinking about maybe joining somebody else's game because then it'll be guaranteed like multiplayer basically god oh my god dude I don't like how these guys keep despawning on me. Th this gun's good, but the, um, the zoom in, double tap and hold. Oh, that's how you do it. We're zooming in. These guys despawn very fast on me. Uh, let me just check them though. Uh, uh, they last for 45 seconds. That's why. What about the uh, the other things? These guys. These last for 90 seconds. Are they better? These do a little bit more damage, but these last for 150. Can you, let me see if it's possible. Could, is it possible to do this? Uh, to have both. So like, what if I had these two? 
and the other two. Find out. Just have like uh, four, four summons. Basically co-op at that point. <laughs> We'll see though. I don't know if there's in-game voice chat. Let me check if there is or not. There is push to talk. Let's see. Everything is on ultra. Give myself a little bit better field of view. Rolls. Push the talk. Yes, testing. Whoa, feel the view kind of looks weird. Uh, one sec, let me just. Okay, can't go. Alright, that's kind of cool. Oh, whoops. Nice. Look at all my minions. Come with me, minions. Nice. Who's that? Priest and spear. What? Uh, okay, stacks three times. Yeah, I'm going to throw that on, honestly. That's pretty cool. Oh, God. These are not my friends. Shroud? We're fighting Shroud? Oh, shoot. Stop. 
This is the worst area to have my little minions. <laughs> uh, what gets rid of roots rot? I don't know if I have anything. No, I don't think I do. Let me check something. all that up. Ouch. Shroud's back. Oh. And they're gone. I wish there was a like little indicator somewhere that showed like, okay, you have two out. Not like you have to look for them, but that's okay. Pretty far in there too. Crap. Damn, dude. Uh, I think I'm gonna switch areas. Go back to Ward 13, because there's not really anything specifically that I want on Earth. I just wanted to get a feel for my current character. Um, so I think instead I'm gonna. Either start like the the DLC maybe. Let me check. Uh, what exactly does I picked up both DLCs, but I want to see the remnants. The Swamps of Corsus. Is it just a survival mode? Survival. Discover a new zone in adventure mode. Okay. Uh, new store. Stories. Participate in new events. And, and more. Lock and load. Armor skins. Campaign in adventure mode. Earn glowing shards which you can use to purchase for every uh, piece of armor. Wait, alternative skins for every piece of armor in the game. Okay, I see. So maybe we should do adventure mode for the new area. Let's do survival mode. Oh wait, no, not survival mode. Experience with a, has no effect on campaign progress. Boss experience recommended. Uh, timer pauses in the labyrinth. Less time, scrap, and XP. Create new adventure. Uh, 
earth. Okay, this is the new area, Corsus. Swamp of Corsus. That's the subject 20, whatever it is. And then, okay, I see. And then if you reroll campaign, you have from the ashes and that area. Okay, I see. So let's do new horses next normal and then progress in the current slot will be lost that's fine okay and you just select it travel swamp yes all right so this is technically the first dlc that came out we'll check out the survival mode too um i kind of want to go like semi in order so i'll do this and then i'll check out the survival mode and then we'll kind of go from there most people are probably playing the new dlc to be honest you have size tutorial prompts video traits oh we have two traits available right uh, let's up our mod regeneration. Also, I think I'm going to swap back to this other gun. Mention. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Getting about 40 frames here. missed every single shot whoa I think it might be just loading in the area maybe I don't know, we're kind of getting low frames. Maybe I should change it. I don't know if I like these little dudes. They only last for 45 seconds and it's like nothing. Still attacking things up there. I do see a tome of knowledge. I think? Or is it just scrap? Scrap. I didn't even realize he was right there. Oh, 
Oh man. Hit me there. Is that? Slice and dice. Ah! Oh no. Oh no! Right. This is a great gun to have when soloing. Actually, let's keep going this way. When I get to uh, one of the stones, I'm gonna check my uh, current game settings, make sure that it's it is public. I don't think you can check while in here. All right, let me change this mod. I want to change to the, uh, oh shoot. Just realized I have to first take it off that and then I can come here and then equip that. And there we go. Now we're better. that I feel like the this gun's so much better in my game than it was in my other character Got him. Okay. Let's see. There's something. So there you go. Sacrillum. I forget what that's used for. It can also be in use to reinforce the dragon heart. Has power to take any weapon or armor that it manifests to its ultimate form at max level. It can also be used. Oh, where do you use it then? Okay.
Here we go. Here's the pathway. Nice, nice. There's a checkpoint. Touch it. Touch it. Here we go. All right. Uh, let me. I'm gonna. Oh, there it is. Session type. Now I see it. I had it on friends only. Let me. I'm just gonna check. Uh, browse. Yeah, it's browse public games. Your score twenty. Okay, I see. Campaign, city campaign, labyrinth, city rural. What happens if I look at this one with this character? Public games. Ah. Whoa. Okay, that's kind of cool. It matches you with closer level players. That's neat. Wow, there's so many more games at this level than the other one. <laughs> Interesting. I feel like I kind of have some good stuff on this character too, though. Okay. Um. Wait, what was everyone playing on this one? And now there's less. Now there's more. Horses, city. I wish I could match, like, join these people on this character. Uh, more people show up here too. Adventure. Okay. And you can see whether they're playing adventure or campaign. Gotcha. I see. Cool. All right. Well, I'm going to continue mine then. Now, since I have it set to public, we'll see if anybody joins. Ugh. Yes, there we go. And let me just check. Let's make sure. So you can also change it at the stone, it looks like. I think. Okay, yep. It's in public. Oh boy. Oh no, don't tell me it's this thing. I've lost to this thing way too many times. This is my least favorite boss 